Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today is a very exciting day because I am going to be sharing about my Invisalign journey so far. So Invisalign is something that I've been wanting to do since 2018. I had my first consultation in 2018 and I was just like put off by how expensive it was and it just didn't feel like the right time. So I finally decided to reschedule an appointment and a consultation in 2021 now that my orthodontist office was open again. So I scheduled a consultation, got it. Now I have my Invisalign in, they're actually in right now. And I'm gonna be taking you through the whole first two months of my Invisalign journey from my first appointment all the way to when I got my attachments on this week. I'm gonna be sharing all about my journey and then at the end, so make sure you stay and watch to the end, I'm gonna be sharing about all of my essentials for Invisalign, which include, oops, which includes a lot of stuff. So make sure you watch to the end so that you can see everything that you absolutely need to get for when you start Invisalign. Okay, so let's start off with my very first clip for my first appointment and then I will just take you through vlog style of my first two months of Invisalign. Okay, so today is a very special day for a couple reasons. Number one, it is my first day with my Invisalign, which is crazy. And it honestly does not hurt at all. I thought it was gonna hurt a lot. Hey guys, so it has been two weeks since I, is that two or <laughs> It has been two weeks since I first started Invisalign. And I feel like I already see a difference in my teeth. It's kind of crazy. And so I'm on bi-weekly changes, which means that I'm changing out my trays every two weeks to start with. At my appointment, I got enough trays to last me for the next eight weeks, so I got four trays. So I'm about to switch to tray number two, and before I do that, I'm gonna take a bunch of pictures of my teeth, because I took a bunch like right before I started, the night before I started. So I'm gonna take a bunch and see if my teeth have changed at all, and maybe I'll even like insert the pictures if I'm feeling like I want to do that. <laughs> so I'm sorry, I'm just like looking at my teeth. So first two weeks, honestly, were not that painful. I was prepared to be in so much pain because everybody on Reddit says that it is like the first couple days, not even the first week, but like the first couple days are apparently like the most painful thing. I did not experience that at all. So I'm super lucky. It was definitely like a little, it's an odd sensation. Like it's kind of tight in your mouth and it's not and like when you bite down it kind of like is a little sensitive like your teeth and your gums but most of all it just feels like weird like it just feels like your teeth are moving <laughs> which is a very odd sensation it just feels like my mouth is unsteady and i'm honestly at the point where my teeth feel better when i have my retainers in than when i have my retainers out so that's wild um so I'm going to take a couple pictures and then we will put on my second trays together. Okay, so I just like looked to see if I could see any difference between my first tray and my new tray. I can kind of see a difference in the bottom teeth, like these ones, which are my most crooked teeth, but I can't really tell much of a difference. Everybody says that you usually see a lot of changes once you're halfway through your treatment and obviously I am not halfway through my treatment right now so here we go it it's tight <laughs> it doesn't really like hurt though like it's not a pain it's just like tightness okay okay so they're in this is what it looks like when they're in. You can barely even tell. My orthodontist told me to switch them at night because the most painful time is like the first few hours after you switch your trays. So I like to do it at night. But yeah, first two weeks have been a success. It's definitely a lifestyle adjustment because you're just brushing your teeth constantly like i don't know how teenagers do this because i would have been so lazy and not actually done it as a teenager and i'm very glad that i'm doing it as a responsible adult who's like paying for it myself because like i want it to be perfect because i'm paying for it so i'm actually putting in the effort and doing all of the things that i need to do 
so that's it that's what our teeth look like i had a little bit of a lisp like the first few days that i had it but like the more you talk with your retainers in the less noticeable that it is like my my s's will always sound a little bit weird like for the rest of the treatment probably just because there's something in your mouth in between your tongue and your teeth so like it's not going to sound perfect but like you heard me when i was speaking before i had no retainers in, and now i have them in and this is what i sound like so there's like there's definitely a slight difference but it, it's very slight so i'm gonna go to bed and i will probably talk to you guys in two weeks when i'm gonna be switching to tray three hey it is nighttime it is september 8th and i'm about to start tray four which is crazy because it's the last one of the first set that they gave me and i was just examining the difference between this new tray that i'm about to put in and my first one and i can totally see differences in what the retainers actually look like so that is super exciting so let's start tray four Yeah, definitely feels tight, but honestly, like, not as bad as some of the past ones. Now time for the bottom. I'm in bed, and I put in my bottom retainers, so now I'm all set for the fourth tray. Tomorrow, tonight, the first night is usually a little bit painful with them, and then tomorrow might be a little bit painful, but for some reason, this one doesn't feel as bad as past ones, so that's nice. Hey guys, what's up? It is... Tuesday, September 21st, 2021, and today is my first appointment since my first appointment. So it's my second ever actual Invisalign appointment, and today I'm doing just like a check-in on like how everything is going, and then I'm also, I think, going to be getting attachments on my Invisalign. So attachments are, if you don't know, they're like these tiny little bumps that they put on your teeth that add a little bit of pressure to places that need to move more than other places. And I believe that that's usually the painful part of Invisalign. So I'm not really looking forward to this appointment. Um, and I feel like the reason why I had a non-painful first experience for the, my first couple trays was because I didn't have my attachments in yet. And I'm really thankful that my orthodontist did it that way because I feel like it's already such a big adjustment to like having trays that it's nice that I was able to like ease into things so I have my appointment in like 10 minutes and once I get out I will show you what the attachments look like and tell you if they hurt what the situation is and I'm also going to be getting my next set of trays because I'm supposed to switch trays tomorrow night and I don't have my next set of trays, so today I'm going to be getting those. So, we shall see what happens next. Okay, the deed is done. I have my attachments on. And I feel like you can see them a lot more than just my normal trays, but like from, from, from far away, you can't really tell. What do you guys think? Oh, close though. You can totally see them. So definitely not as cute, but I think that this is going to help with a lot of progress. So I'm really excited about that. Um, the appointment went super well. It took a while. So usually my appointments, I feel like, are like 15, 30 minutes tops. That one was a full hour of putting on attachments. Glad it's over. Um, it honestly was not the best experience like to no fault of like my orthodontist but it's just like an unpleasant thing like having your mouth like open like this for like an hour straight so glad it's over <laughs> so i'm actually being switched to weekly changes now which is exciting so things are gonna happen a lot quicker which i'm really excited about so i have my next 10 trays they come in these little packages i don't think i showed them like the first time i got them but they're in there you can barely even tell but i have my next 10 so my next appointment isn't for another 10 weeks so i won't be here until december which is kind of crazy um so that's it that's all she wrote Okay, so it is a few days later from when I got my attachments on and honestly, they really didn't hurt that much It was just more like 
this tray is really tight on my teeth. The first few days on this tray were a little bit more painful than other trays when I first put them in, but really nothing terrible. The most painful part is taking my retainers in and out. And honestly, when I was in my first, when I was in the appointment getting my attachments put on, they were like showing me like how to take them in and out. And my orthodontist was like, it's gonna feel like I'm taking your teeth out, but I promise I'm not. I'm just taking the retainer out, so this is probably gonna hurt. And for the first few times, like taking them in and in and out, it honestly did feel like I was ripping my teeth out of my mouth. <laughs> so it's really just like taking them in and out that hurts, but like other than that, it's fine and it's gotten so much better. The more you take them in and out, the easier it is. So it's gotten so much easier. Today is Friday and I got my attachments put on on Tuesday, so it's been like three or four days and it's gotten so much easier. It honestly feels like a regular aligner now. And I wanted to show you what the attachments look like. So this is what they look like if I can get my camera to focus. So this is what my smile looks like with my attachments on. You can't really tell, but up close, you can definitely tell, especially like from the side, you can see the little notches. Um, I know that they try to avoid putting attachments on your front four teeth as much as they possibly can, but two of mine are a little bit of problem teeth, so I got attachments on the two next to my front teeth. Okay, so now let's get into my Invisalign necessities. So things that you absolutely need to get, and I'm only gonna be telling you like the bare minimum of like what you actually need, and then I'll also tell you about the things that I got that like are nice to have but you don't need. Number one, the thing you absolutely need to do is become a part of the subreddit on Reddit just called Invisalign. And I think it has like 45,000 people in it and it has just like the best advice. People post questions all the time. People talk about their experience all the time. So I felt like I really knew what to expect going into each of my appointments because all of these people like freely shared about their experiences on the subreddit. So. That has been amazing and people also post their like before and after pictures and progress pictures. So it's also just very motivating and people kind of like commiserate like I'm having a really tough week. If people can give me some inspiration or like motivating words, that would be great. So it's just a really great community and it makes me feel a lot less alone because I don't know anyone personally that's doing Invisalign right now. So I feel like I have other people that like understand what I'm going through. So definitely join that. I will link it in the description. Next thing that you absolutely need to get and you absolutely need to have on you at all times is your retainer case. And I'm pretty sure that everyone that does Invisalign automatically gets a retainer case when they do Invisalign. So like this one is like actually from Invisalign um, and it came in my welcome box that I got from them. And I'm not sure if I showed this at the beginning, so I'll just show you again. So it's this really nice box that like magnetically closes. This is where my retainer case came in and then it also came with some cleaning crystals, which I haven't used yet. And then I also got like this little book about Invisalign. So that was my little entrance package and it also came with a really nice case which I haven't really used because it was like a case for this box and I don't really need like a case this big for all of my Invisalign accessories which brings me to my next item I have this pouch I got it for three dollars from Target and it is a lifesaver because it's like waterproof and it's where I keep all of my teeth accessories first accessory that you don't really get automatically. I know some people automatically get these from the orthodontist, some people don't, and that is ortho keys. This has been an absolute lifesaver, especially now that I have attachments. It's a lot harder to get my retainers out just with my fingernails. So these are a lifesaver and you should absolutely order them before you get Invisalign so that you have them ready to go once you're starting because you're gonna want them for the first time that you eat after you get Invisalign. So highly recommend getting ortho keys. I just got these from Amazon and I got a pack of like four, I think. And I just, they fit perfectly inside my retainer. So I just keep this like this whenever I'm on the go. Okay, next thing you need to get, 
I was lucky enough to get receive these when I got my retainers for the first time from my orthodontist. They gave me a tiny little travel toothbrush which comes in this nice case and then a mini toothpaste. So these I also take with me everywhere just because you never know when you're gonna need to take out your retainers and brush. I brush my teeth every single time before I put my retainers back in. So these are great to have on hand. Another thing that I personally feel like you need to have is a brush specifically for your retainers. So I use this brush with soap and water every time. Oh God. Every morning and every night when I'm first putting my retainers back in and when I'm last putting my retainers back in, I brush my retainers with soap and water and I use this brush for that just because I feel like I don't really want to use my normal toothbrush for that. So I have a special brush for that. That I feel like is a necessity. Other people might not think it is, but I think it is just for my own personal cleanliness. <laughs> Next thing that you definitely need to have is floss. I floss my teeth every single day. I have this nice one from Quip, which I love. It's really high quality, great floss. It's really narrow, which I like, and it smells really good. So I keep that with me in my little travel pouch. And then I also have a mini, mini, tiny little travel floss that I got from my orthodontist. This I have just as a backup in case I need it. So I always have this with me too. Now let's get into things that you don't necessarily need but are nice to have. First thing is on the go mouthwash. I have never needed this, but it's I just like knowing that I have it in case I need it. I just got this from um, my orthodontist when I first got everything. So this is great. I always have it with me just in case. Um, next thing is Chewies. So I had no idea what the heck these were before I started Invisalign. I heard about them from the Invisalign subreddit. I think some orthodontists give these to their patients right when they start Invisalign. And the recommendation, at least from what I've heard on the subreddit, is that when you put in a new tray, it's helpful to chew these. They're basically like really squishy. Well, not really squishy. They're like kind of squishy. Um, and they're to help your aligners mold better to your teeth. And I've actually noticed that the times when I use them right after I put a new retainer in, my teeth hurt a lot less. The times that I've used them, my aligners will hurt for like a day after I change them out. But on times when I haven't used them, they've hurt for like two or three days after. Not sure if that's a coincidence, but do with that what you will. And I just got like a pack of a bunch of these like 30 of these on Amazon and they were super cheap. So those are good to have. And I think from now on, I'm gonna be using them every time I change my retainers. The last item that I'm gonna talk about is wax. So I have not used this whatsoever. I got a package of a bunch of them from Amazon and I've never actually used them. So it's just like a little thing of braces wax, I'm pretty sure is like what they're normally used for. And people recommended this, getting this on the subreddit in case your attachments are like scratching the inside of your mouth. And I luckily haven't had that problem because my orthodontist like polished them to make sure that they weren't like scratchy or pointy or anything. So I haven't needed this but in case I ever need it, I have so much of it. So that's just nice knowing for like peace of mind that I have that. Okay, the last thing that is something that you need in order to do Invisalign is a good attitude. I know that's so cheesy, but like it's kind of rough. Um, it doesn't really hurt that much, but it's definitely an adjustment like lifestyle wise because I just feel like I'm constantly brushing my teeth. Like I brush my teeth four times a day and then I brush my aligners two times a day. So I'm like brushing my teeth six times a day and flossing. So it's like, there's a lot of teeth maintenance going on. So it's a really big commitment. So you need to have a good attitude to understand that this is gonna be more effort for the short term, but in the long term, it's gonna be so worth it. And I cannot wait to have a perfect smile. I'm so excited because my teeth haven't necessarily been an insecurity of mine, but they've definitely been something that have bothered me most of my life because they're crooked on the bottom. I will put in some of my progress pictures so far. I feel like I've already noticed such a big difference in them and it's only been two months and I'm only on tray five. So I'm really encouraged to see 
what they're gonna look like when I finish this. And as of right now, my treatment is supposed to be 50 trays and then oh, maybe I'll need refinements after that. So that has been my Invisalign experience thus far. I'm hoping to do a few more updates like throughout my treatment, but I'm not sure how in depth they'll be and maybe I'll include them like in other vlogs that I do. But hopefully this has helped you. If you're on the fence about getting Invisalign, honestly, I really recommend it. It's so much easier than braces, so much less painful than braces. I haven't had braces, but just from what I've heard, I feel like it's a lot better of a process. And also you can like barely even tell they're in, like they're in right now. I have like a tiny little lisp and you can cut, my teeth look a little bit bulkier than they normally would, but it's a lot less of an eyesore than braces are. So I highly recommend it. It's really expensive, but for me it's worth it in the long run because I might as well do this while I'm young so that I have as many years as possible with good teeth, you know. So I'm so happy that I took the plunge and that I'm doing it. And if you have any questions whatsoever, I am an open book. Please put them in the comments and I'm happy to answer any questions that you might have. And I honestly just like love talking about Invisalign because it's become such a big part of my life. So please, any questions, any comments, any ideas, suggestions, put them in the comments so that we can all help each other on our Invisalign journeys. But thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope that you found it helpful in some way. And be sure to, if you liked it, like the video, comment, subscribe, follow me on Instagram, do all of those things. And I will see you guys in my next video.